All right, hopefully I'm going to be able to catch this with one take. I've kind of collected my thoughts, but um, anyway, on the 4th of July here, we have a um, local um, timber car, uh, um, competition. Uh, so competition lumberjacks compete, and the um, end of the sh at the end of the competition, the uh, a couple of girls go out and log roll for the sh for show. And that helps occupy the crowd while the um, while they tabulate the final scores. To and that's usually a time period where people kind of lose interest and wander off or start to leave in case the um, you know in case they're just not that interested in who won or who lost or they kind of know who won based on how the performance went. But anyway, what this is is entertainment. It's a distraction. It's something to watch um, while things are going on behind the scenes. And it's, to me, as, as I watched the video a couple times this morning, it was kind of a metaphor for the gold markets. And I'll try to piece this together for you. Uh, the girl on the right is wearing black shoes, and the girl on the le left is wearing white shoes. And they're rolling on a, what they call a show log. Um, basically, any experienced log roller is almost impossible to throw off of a show log unless they're showboating. And it's very easy to throw somebody off the log if they're showboating. Uh, showboating takes a lot of energy. Uh, you have to move around a lot more. And you do a lot of work and expend a lot of energy in the, um, in the event. So I want you to watch the girl on the right. And she's, she's the showboater. And the girl on the left is just riding the log. And she conserves all of her energy for the most part. But she has to do a couple of gestures here and there to, um, to help, help make it look like it's actually a competition. Um, think of those couple of gestures would be the, um, the accumulation of China or Russia's gold purchases or just, just minor overtures towards making it look like, it's, like there's something really going on. Now the point is, is at the end of the deal, and as you watch this, you'll see the girl on the right showboating and she'll constantly have one foot up, one foot down. Any time the other party wants to end the competition, all they have to do is enter a speed roll and it's over. It just, just the flick, just one little flick and it's done because you can't stand with one foot up in the air and stay on the log. But anyway, the point is the U.S. or the bullion banks or whoever runs the gold market they're playing games, and their games will work a very long time. But if we're living in a fiat system, if we're living in a fiat system, you are living in a system that's mostly a show system. And if one country has fiat, well, basically everybody in the world uh, has fiat, if a country can print infinite fiat and wade in and buy in the marketplace and stand for delivery or go to the mines and say I'll give you 40% over spot I'll give you 100% over spot or whatever if they launch into a contract and say I'll buy all demand at pre-agreed price of 50% over spot whatever the case may be if a country wants to put the gold purchasing into a speed roll, it's over. It's that it's over that quick. We're in a we're in a, a staged show where it's in everybody's best interest that the game continues to go on. That there that everybody's fiat currency continues to be able to function. Now where you're gonna see this game end is when somebody's got enough global power in the world, like China possibly, or even possibly Iran in the sense that they can uh, block off the Straits of Hormuz. But if you tell a major country that you're not going to be allowed to have a functioning fiat currency and we're going to just destroy your currency or we're not going to let you do trade, if they want to put the price of gold into a speed roll, it's over. It's just a question of whether it's three seconds or whether it's 30 seconds or if it's two minutes. 
as you see with these girls, um, a speed rolls over in a set, just a split second. And it's not, it doesn't even achieve a roll. It's just a matter of you start it moving in the wrong direction when the other person's not able to react. And it's over. This is a game that's played where everything looks equal until the split second that it's not equal. And in the meantime, it's all a big show. And the consequences of being on the losing side of this game, it's all or nothing. You, um, you, wind, up, you wind up wet. But anyway, with this gold game that they're playing, it's mostly theatrics. Um, the, the price drop today, um, frankly, there's not any news that really reflects it. Um, things are just as messed up as they were two days ago. The only thing that's happened is the 4th of July was uh, a non-eventful terrorism moment. So I guess the non-event of something bad, nothing bad happened on the 4th is the only really big news of the day. But um, anyway, I want to put this on and you can watch this for just a second. Let me bring the volume back in um, so you can see hear the cheers and stuff. It's a little more entertaining. But um, if you want, take a few minutes to watch it. Uh, it's only four minutes. Uh, and by the way, the girl on the left is my daughter. Um, she hasn't log rolled. Neither, neither of these girls have really log rolled for about two years. Uh, they, they got their cell phones and quit log, quit log rolling as soon as they um, had to hold a cell phone in their hand 24-7. But anyway, getting a call. Got to go back to work.